I'm Teresa McKinnon. I'd like to just give you a quick um, overview of the Evolve training site uh, in Moodle and the connected ePortfolio site as well. So if we look at the address bar at the top here, you can see that we're in the training site, the training Moodle for Evolve. And I'm already logged in. You can tell that because at the top right hand corner, you can see my name and a profile picture. Now, I have already edited my profile picture and put that in. To do that is quite a simple process. What you have to do, first of all, is to click on your name and come down to preferences. And in the preferences list, you can see edit profile. So by going into here, I can make changes to my profile. So I've put a little bit of information in and some links and uh, I've also uploaded a picture. So that's how you get into the space where you can edit your profile, which is actually very important if you're teaching through Moodle, um, because that's how the students know a bit about you and you'll expect them to do the same and to put their profile into Moodle. I'm going to come back to the home screen and just show you where the courses are currently within Moodle. So the course categories here on the front page list all the courses that are available. And if you click on getting started, you'll then see that there are two, cat two courses that have already been um, delivered actually on a different Moodle that have been uploaded within to the Evolve training platform. Now they haven't carried any student data with them, but they have carried the detail of the course content so that you can explore it and see if there are things there that you wish to use in the Evolve training. So those two courses um, show you the sorts of training resources that we've been using. You can also see there are some uh, free courses available, made available by the host here, including a quick start to Mahara, some general um, course information. The place where we're actually going to be developing our course training is the Evolve training course here. So if we click on that, um, you can see that I've uploaded Gosha's graphic here just at the top of the course and put a general uh, coffee shop forum uh, for people to get to know each other. Underneath there, you've then got each of the sections of the course labelled with no content in there at the moment, just the label for the course. And on the right hand side, you can see uh, a block that reflects all the activities that are currently within the course and also a block that links directly into the ePortfolio area, which is uh, based on a software called Mahara. Uh, so more about that in a moment. In Moodle, if you're not familiar with the Moodle environment, this area here directly underneath the course title is the breadcrumb trail. It's a very quick way of jumping from where you are to another part of Moodle. Um, so I can literally jump straight back into the home page here or the course list. On the left hand side, you can see here um, a list, for example, the list of participants within the course. Uh, the whole of this left hand side menu will disappear if I click on this hamburger menu at the top left. So if you just want extra screen space, that's quite a useful way of tidying things away. But you cannot edit anything within a course unless you open the little wheel here and turn editing on. And it's at that point that you'll see um, little additional menus here for editing sections or for adding activities and resources. And that's mostly where you'll be adding your content. So when you open that menu, you'll see the menu that probably looks familiar already from the scenario documents that Gosha made for us. So that's where you go in order to add content. So let's have a jump now. I'm just going to switch the editing off again. Um, once content is available within the course, you may want to check and see what it will look like for a student. So in that case, you can use this um, link here, switch role to, 
and you can choose to switch role to a student and then you'll get a student side view. You won't be able to edit anything, but you'll get a student side view of the course. So it's quite useful. You can see here it reminding me that I'm currently a student and I want to return to my normal role. So it's a nice, neat way of checking if you've built something in the course, what it looks like to a student user. OK, so the partner for the Moodle, Moodle is very much a, a push based resource. It's a set of um, course content that is organized by a tutor or number of tutors collaboratively, pushing resources out to students to be completed. Now, we have partnered this with Mahara, an e-portfolio system, which has a very different way of looking at the world. A quick way of jumping into Mahara is just to click on this network servers button here that says Mahara. See quite quickly um, that the way this works is quite different from Moodle. Mahara assumes that um, everything you do within it is private only to you, unless you choose to share it. So Mahara is an e-portfolio tool, and it's a tool that enables you to create web pages using fairly straightforward WYSIWYG methods and then make them available to share with an individual or with a group of people or with the wide world outside. It's a way of building multi-modal web pages. You can share content uh, that isn't just text. You can share video. You can embed uh, images and anything that you can embed in with Web2 tools, you'll be able to embed within Mahara. So it's a very flexible open source tool. Uh, I'm not going to say a lot about Mahara because we'll see who's actually going to be using it and then make some more tailored um, recordings specifically for them. Uh, but what I'd like you to do is just to click on the Engage button here and here, if you change the filter down to all groups and click search, you'll see that there is one ePortfolio help group that I have set up. And if you click on that, you'll then be able to click a join link. Now, I'm already a member, so obviously I can't get a join link. But the ePortfolio help group is a space within the Mahara tool where we can have forums and pages and collections and just explore and play with the tool itself. So once I've finished having a little look around Mahara and uh, finding people and making friends with people, you can do that within, uh, within Mahara itself. You won't see people until they've actually accessed Mahara. So I can see Andre has accessed Mahara. So I'll send him a friend request. And then we'll be able to connect quite easily and have conversations within that environment rather than having to return to email or whatever. So you can see now on the top right hand side underneath my name again, there's a nice easy button to return to Moodle. So moving between these two areas is quite straightforward. I can return to Moodle this way, and I'm back at the home page for Moodle. And you can see again, I've got a network servers block here that makes it easy for me to jump back into Mahara. So I hope that just gives you a little bit of um, support in finding your way around the training environment. It's a Moodle and Mahara environment, so it's strictly speaking a Mahoodle. And uh, there's lots and lots of things we can do within this environment to support uh, effective training delivery with Evolve.